good morning or good afternoon good evening I don't know when you're watching this so good day night I have a French Bulldog in process that I'm drawing over here and I have the eye to do so I thought this would be a really great time to do a very close-up slower tutorial of how I do the dog's eyes here is the drawing that's what I have done so far so we're going to be working on this eye today this big gorgeous brown eye that's staring at us all right and i'm just going to turn the camera around and show you what i'm doing okay so the first part that i kind of attack here is the white of the eye important thing to remember is that the whites of the eyes are never actually white so what i'm, I'm using just the blender tool here which already has graphite on it so i'm not putting any extra graphite down on the paper i'm just using what's on this tool starting starting kind of where the darkest shadows would be because remember up under the eyelid it's always shadowed the eyelid comes over the eyeball so you're going to have a bit of shadow from the eyelid and I'm not worried about if I get over into this area that's okay because it's going to be darker all right now I'm coming in with my really dark, soft 2B pencil. Now I'll go ahead and just kind of outline the top of this eye. And I'm sorry if you can hear my stomach growling on the video. I haven't had breakfast yet. I was just so excited to get into the studio and get started this morning. But I do have my coffee, that's important. All right, let's see if I can adjust this light a little bit. Getting too much shadow on here. Okay. All right, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start on, what is it, the iris, I think? I don't know, I don't know eyeball anatomy too well. Iris pupil, right? Let's roll with it. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I'm outlining it really dark because the outside of it, especially for a dark-eyed dog, is always going to be really dark anyway. So I'm not worried about going slow with this. Also, if you hear other rustling around noises here in the studio, my mom's big Labradoodle is in here, which he actually has the same name as the dog that I'm drawing. They're both named Luby. sort of the outline done. So now I'm just going to take this soft pencil and just do this. I know, sorry, this isn't all that, ex it's not very informative. I don't know, sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, shut up. There, okay, see, I'm not really worried about how detailed this is because I'm coming back with my blender tool and blending all that together makes it much smoother looking big time saver right there okay now i want to smooth it over even more so i'm using a very hard pencil now this is a 4h and now i'm going to come back through all this and just soften that up This is sort of falling into the grain of the paper where that soft lead didn't get to. And that's what's helping make it look a lot smoother. One thing I do to get a really smooth texture is just 
go back and forth between soft pencils and hard pencils. There we go. I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about when I say hard and soft. So these are the leads I'm using in those two pencils. There's 2B and 4H. The 4H is a lot harder. H is for hard. B is for, I don't really have a clue. But Bs are soft. So my soft lead, my hard lead. All right. One of the biggest things you want to remember with drawing eyes is that they're eyeballs. So they're round. It's a sphere. And you want to shade it in as though it's a sphere. So with a sphere, so let's see, on the wide of the eye, it's about that big probably. The skin of the dog is covering it. And the iris itself is still part of that sphere. So let's say right in here is where the brightest part of that sphere is going to be. So what I'm going to do is shade some more. And shade it as though I'm simply just drawing a ball. Right now, I'm not worried about where the people will be. So what I do is I simply work my way in. I draw the wide of the eye as if it's a sphere, and then I draw the iris as if, as if it's a sphere, and then I'll go to the pupil. So I'm just getting darker and darker towards the ends of the sphere. can't see the camera all too well because of my handle thing that's holding the camera so I hope this is showing it well. I'm using that softer pencil. The softer leads will get down really dark values. Also, I'm shading pretty strong underneath where that eyelid is. Okay, so you can see I've just shaded the whole thing and it has a brighter area here just like it would if it was just a plain old bowl. Using my blending tool Soften that up some more. All right, now I want to go back in and do the pupil. So I'm just going to start with drawing the outline of where I want that to be. And going in and shading it. And again, I'm remembering that my brightest part of the sphere is right in here, so it does cross over onto the pupil. So this lower part here, I'm just going to avoid getting that too dark. On these really darker areas, I am pressing a little bit harder with the pencil, but I'm still not just bearing down on it. All right, I'm going to come back in with a finer pencil. This one is, it is 0.3 millimeters. It's kind of rubbed off there. As opposed to the other two I was using that are the, oh, there we go, 0.5. So 
this one gets in, it smooths it out a lot more just because again, it gets into the grain of the paper a lot better. And I'm just using this one to go back over, darken up some areas and smooth things out. Help blend the edge of that iris into the rest of it. And again, getting darker as I get away from that highlight spot. This dog has really dark eyes, so hopefully soon I'll have a dog on the drawing board that has very light eyes. And I'll do another eye video to show you guys the differences in that. some more. Going back with my soft lead. Really hitting those darkest spots again. It's really subtle, but you can still see that it's lighter here, whether you're looking at the white of the eye, the iris, or the pupil. So I'm going to take, this is the really hard lead. This is the 4H. I'm going to take this and use this to shade a little bit more on the white of the eye. Another thing, when I go in and put in those highlights, the little white dots on the eye, having the white of the eye shaded really helps those highlights pop even more. I'm going to sort of outline where that skin roll is coming up. Then I'm just going to go ahead and get an outline here on the bottom of the eye. And then for the little white highlights, this is just a pretty basic pen. Found it at Hobby Lobby, I think. But these pens are perfect for drawing the little highlights. That's what I've done over here already. Okay, and then the big question is where do I want to put those? So there's, okay. So let's see. Got the light sort of hitting over here from this direction. Oh my goodness, I really wonder if my stomach growls are going to show up on video. The wonderful thing with these pens is that if I don't like something, I can easily, once it dries, just scrape it off the graphite. In fact, I'll just I'll throw one down here. Tear. I'll pretend I don't like that one here in a minute. 
let it dry to show you how easily it comes off. So, let's see. I used to be really meticulous about how I put in the highlights, and then I started to discover that basically the more nonchalant, I guess, that I am with them, the better they come out looking. I really like that little curve right there. I may take that out too. All right. Blow on it a second. Get those to dry. Okay, I think it's dry enough. I can, my pencil right here, basically what I'm doing is I'm just tucking in that lead. So I'm gonna use a little edge tip of the mechanical pencil. I'm gonna be really gentle because I don't want to scratch the paper where that graphite is. But you see, I can just easily take that off. Just a little bit of a mark, so I'm just going to come back in and correct that. Scrapes it off even more. There we go. So, there. That's the wonderful thing about using those gel pencils for the highlights. And I think what I'm gonna do is even, right here, I'm not totally scraping this off, I'm just sort of lightening it by putting some pencil over it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Do the same here. Make those not quite so bold, just have a couple really bold ones and then some more subtle. And there is the completed eye. All right, so here we go. You can see that. There is your little eyeball tutorial, I guess. Um, if you have questions about anything I just did there, please let me know. I want to get better and better at doing these tutorials for you guys. And so if there's anything that I'm not explaining well enough or something that I'm just totally leaving out, let me know. And I'll do more videos to further educate you. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, y'all have a great morning, night, evening, I don't know, afternoon, day, 24 hours. I hope it is fabulous for you.